Hi guys, my Joann's just opened a couple weeks ago and I went inside to do some shopping and I found the most beautiful fabric that I just had to make something with and I think it's going to be perfect. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this if you've gone to Joann's. It's like this, I think it's called flower power. If that's, I think that's what the fabric was called. And it's like this embroidered flower type of fabric and it's just amazing. I've kind of been playing with it and I got inspired to make a desert inspired dress. I have a vision to take pictures of this in the desert and I want to make a really cool dress with it. I don't exactly know totally what I'm going to do for my design yet. I know I want to do a bustier type of bodice and I know I want it to be see-through on the bodice part but I haven't really decided what I want to do for the skirt so we're going to figure it out together. But before we get into the dress it's time to hear a word from our sponsor this week. Do you ever find yourself wanting to learn a new skill? Maybe you've just been dying to learn how to sew. Have you always wanted to learn how to play the piano? Do you want to learn how to start your own business? If so, I've got the perfect place for you, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and learners. I personally love Skillshare because I've always been someone that loves to learn new things and I've been using it to take classes on all the topics I've been dying to figure out. Not only are there classes for creatives looking to learn about photography and painting, but there's also a ton of career focused classes too. So you can learn how to freelance, start your own business, manage a social media account and so much more. I've actually been taking a class with my mom called Knitting 101, Everything You Need to Knit with Confidence. And we're both making sweaters together and they're turning out pretty good. I know you guys that watch my videos are always asking me how I learned how to sew. So a few classes I would recommend if you want to learn how to sew like me are garment construction, introduction to draping, or also I love hand sewing, work wonders with fabric, needle, and thread by Bernadette Banner. These two classes I think are a great place to start if you're wanting to get into sewing. Unlock your creativity today with the link below. The first 1,000 people to use my link will receive a free one month trial with Skillshare. You guys won't regret it. I've been having so much fun and now I think it's time to put my skills to the test and let's sew this dress. Good morning everyone, ignore my ratchet appearance. I just woke up after the longest day ever yesterday. Not that it was a bad day, I had a great day, but I was just busier than I've been in a long time. Um, but I woke up realizing that I'm leaving in like a week and I need to start on this dress. So I decided I'm gonna come in here really quick and at least cut out some of my bodice patterns and maybe sew some of it together. I'm using my trusty little bustier pattern that I drafted a bit ago for this bodice. The whole thing with it is I kind of want the dress to look like nude, you know? I want it to look like it's just flowers, if that makes sense, because I'm taking this out to the desert and I just feel like it's a cool concept. And my voice is giving out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've had a little bit of a cold and I did a lot yesterday. My voice is on the way out, but that's kind of my idea for this. So I'm using this corset mesh. It doesn't stretch and this is what you can use for see-through things. So I'm first gonna cut out this pattern out of this and then I am going to kind of put the flower stuff over it. But I am taking this out to the desert. I don't know if any of you have been to or know what the Seven Magic Mountains are. They're just outside of Las Vegas and while I do not like Las Vegas at all, I love going to the Seven Magic Mountains when I drive through. It's like this kind of art installation they have in the middle of the desert. And I think my plan is to take this to the Seven Magic Mountains to photograph and video. And I just think if it looks nude with just flowers, it's gonna be a really cool effect. But I need to cut these out and then I'm gonna sew them together really quick. I will meet you guys when I'm done cutting this. Now this is sewn together. Oh my gosh, my <laughs> voice is really going out, you guys. The pieces are sewn together. And what I'm doing for this sheer one is before I add the flower layer, I need to add the boning channels. And I'm going to use gold bias tape to make those channels on the seams. So where the seams are, I'm gonna put it over this so that the inside is the finished seams and then it will be finished on the outside also with this gold stuff. Channels are sewn in, it looks very good. Now, what I want to do with this is so the fabric that I'm using. And I don't want to cut it out with the pattern pieces because I want it to be continuous. So I'm kind of laying this out flat and then I'm going to cut the shape out so that I can just do an overlay on top of it. I'm assuming it will work. Maybe it won't. <laughs> we'll see. Looks pretty good. So next I need to sew them together. I'm gonna sew them right sides together so that I can flip it and have this top edge finish. So basically I have this and then I'm going to lay, this is the right side of it, but I'm gonna put it like that and sew along this top edge like that. 
so that I can flip it. The best part about this design is that I don't have to worry about sewing this for the cups. I can just sew them like this because I'm gonna cut out these flowers and put them on like on top of it. So I need to add that in. Everything's kind of stitched together. There's not any boning in this yet though. Okay, I tried on the top. It looks like it has straps on it because of my tan line, but this is how it's fitting. It fits perfectly. It closes in the back essentially. I could pull it tighter if I wanted. And I need to add straps on it now before I start sewing on the flowers right here. So I had, I'm just gonna do like a ribbon because my plan was to sew the flowers on this too. So they're like cascading up. So the straps just gonna be like, like that, but they're gonna be right here. Basically where my tan is, I'm hoping that's where the straps will be. And I'm really pleased with it. I love the see-throughness. I think it's so fun and I'm in love with it so much and I'm gonna keep working on it. Last night, I pinned all these appliques on here. I think it looks kind of okay. I don't love it, but I'm gonna sew them down because I think I'll like it better once they're all down there. And then once there's stuff on the straps, I think it will look better. It's cute though. It has really great structure. and I'm really happy with how it's looking. I think it's gonna be so fun. I'm using E6000 to just like glue in the center of each flower because I want to like hold it down and then I'll stick Stitch around where it needs to get stitched extra but I figured this is kind of just a placeholder and it's strong and it's not as stressful because it dries really slow so it's not like hot glue where it's stressful and I gotta keep moving quickly I can work slowly and glue all of this down I don't know if this is weird but I love the smell of E6000. I know it's toxic, but boy does it smell good. And you really are supposed to wear a mask with it when you use it. I don't have one with me. Um, so I have my window open for ventilation, but every time I get a whiff, it smells so good. And I know that's so bad, but I just have to, I had to say it. I'm so mad at myself. I told myself I was gonna bring you guys along when I went to Joanne's and I totally forgot. I was gonna show you the new store, but I did go because I decided that I want to have a bit of a tool skirt underneath my skirt just for a little bit of poof. When I say a little, I feel like the poof I want still is gonna take a lot of tools. So I went in there and was like, you know what? I'm just getting a whole bolt. And they didn't really have any nude color. I got this like light blush pink. And I walked up to the cutting counter. And I said, I'm gonna take the whole bolt. And the lady was like, there can be up to 40 yards on the bolt, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, that's how much I need about. And so I thought it'd be easier for her to just like scan it and be able to put in the whole bolt. But she unrolled the whole thing and counted one, two, three. And I felt so bad because I was like, oh my gosh, no, there's 40 yards on here and she's going through all of it. And it took a while and I felt so bad. And then it was 40 yards and then she asked, she was like, do you want me just to roll it back up? And I said, just honestly, just do what's easiest for you. It doesn't matter to me. And so then I felt, she rolled the rest, the whole thing back on the bowl, all 40 yards. 40 yards is so much. And I just stood there for like the whole time feeling so bad that I was making her do this. But I mean, I needed my fabric, so I don't think she minded that much. I also got some fabric because I'm going to reupholster my piano bench. But I'm on my way. I'm going to go finish the bodice. I need to go sew on the flowers onto the strap and sew the rest of it down. I'm all alone for the rest of the night because all my family is out of town. So it's just me. My sister's getting back later this night. We're ordering in food and I'm going to do some hand sewing. We're probably going to watch Dance Moms or something. This is my applique cutting station. Cutting out the little flowers and then I'm kind of placing them right here. Sorry, I'm trying to eat. I I haven't gotten to the back yet. I ended up using this twill tape. I just thought it'd be a lot more durable than a ribbon. And I'm kind of playing around with it. I like how it's looking right now. And I think it's really pretty. I am liking where these straps are going. I've got them all pinned. It just kind of looks good. I'm hoping it will look good on. It kind of flows prettily and it's good. I like it. So I'm gonna take this off, I suppose, and I will sew it down. And then really, I think the bodice is basically done at that point. I do need to go through and hand stitch the appliques right here, but it look, it's looking really, really, really pretty. And I'm loving how it's turning out. I feel like this is exactly what the fabric needed. Obsessed is an understatement, you guys. Look at this top. It's so cute, it's just like a top. Look at it. It's so cute. I kind of sewed them down with the machine just to 
to hurry up and do it. I think I'm gonna go through and re-sew them down by hand because you can kind of see the line, you know? And since there's tension on it, like they kind of curl. So I need to go through and hand sew them all down. But I was too eager to get it finished and try it on. And it looks so cute, it's exactly what I wanted. So now we can start working on the skirt with all 40 yards of tulle that I have. But I love it, it's so cute, I love it so much. Yo, I'm living in three days and I still have two whole dresses to make, including this giant tulle skirt for this desert dress. This is the dress I have to get done. And then I was planning on making like an ocean dress, like Little Mermaid inspired that I wanted to take since I'm going to the beach. But that's not my priority number one. So if I can get it done, I'll get it done. But if not, then oh well. But we're hopefully I'm gonna work on this all day today. And I'm going to make this tool skirt using all 40 yards of this tool. And we're just gonna, yeah, time to ruffle. Here's layer number one. I made it a little bit too short, but what I did was I cut a semi, a half circle for the top part. And then I just used the whole length of the bolt and it's double. So just like this 30 inches or whatever and I just sewed it onto the hem of the circle skirt And I'm just gonna do that as many times as I have fabric for this. This skirt is looking really good It's currently got three layers I have the two circle skirts I made with the ruffle attached and then underneath I Ruffled up the length of this until it fit my waist so that it made it a little bit more opaque And now with the rest I have left, which is not a lot I'm gonna do one more of the full skirts and I'm gonna make the circles the third one like longer than the second this is what I call tool hell. 40 whole yards of tool all ruffled up and I'm trying to sew the waistband, but it's literally impossible. With this monstrosity of tool skirt done, I can start working on this. And this overskirt, I only have enough for a half circle. So that's what I'll do. I'll do it with as much as a ga of a gathered waist as I can. <laughs> I run into an issue. So the tool skirt looked amazing, but then I cut out the um, lace fabric and I only had enough for a half circle skirt and I didn't have enough as I thought to make it like a really gathered waist. It's behind me. And so the circumference of the half circle skirt wasn't enough to fit around all of this tool. And even I cut layer after layer of tool out to see what looked good. And everything just looked so bad under this skirt. I don't know, it might be because this fabric is really, really heavy and it was just weighing down the tool in the wrong spots and if I had time I would order online like some stiffer crinoline fabric to put under it so it would hold its shape better but I don't have time so I have to sacrifice 40 yards of tool that I bought for no reason apparently and it's going to my plans are gonna change I'm just gonna have to do a sheer flat skirt and you know what it's fine that's still really pretty it's not what I had in my head but at this point I'm leaving tomorrow and I have such a long list of things I need to do to get ready I don't have time to order online I think it's still gonna be pretty with that said all I need to do is sew this skirt onto the bodice and add a zipper and whatnot and it will basically be done and I'm gonna cut a slit as well. 